afternoon. Welcome back to the absolutely stunning French countryside. We're going to pretend it's Sunday because the weather looks terrible tomorrow <laughs> and it is absolutely beautiful today. It's been another one of those days where you're just sort of kind of grateful, just grateful to be, you know, to be up and around. Um, yeah, it's just been an absolutely glorious day and um, I am grateful, actually. I'm grateful to um, my <laughs> coffee.com <laughs> supporters. Uh, you guys and girls out there this week have been uh, absolutely fantastic. Yeah, some of you guys out there have sent me a few quid. And um, yeah, I treated myself. Yeah, someone said, go treat yourself. So I treated myself to some um, some bulbs for the garden. I bought um, I bought some daffodil bulbs and some tulip bulbs. I bought, I bought 80 and they all disappeared. <laughs> they disappeared into my new flower bed. So hopefully that will look um, that look pretty good. So uh, yeah, just thought I'd have a little, little bit of a catch up, let you know what's going on, not too much going on, but have a little wander and make the most of the, um, the absolutely glorious sunshine. So the plan was, this week, was to get some work done in the house. Um, but the weather's just been too good and too dry. And the weather forecast is rain uh, for the next, well, for the foreseeable, I think. And uh, so, yeah, I got, I got busy. I got busy outside. I kind of forgot when I was saying that, that I was going to do all this work inside this week. Yeah, I kind of forgot that I actually have, um, well, I've got a commitment that I've made to the rest of my property. Yeah, so I, uh, I made an agreement with myself that I was going to look after this field. And um, yeah, we're just gonna have a little wander. But um, yeah, that I was gonna put the effort in to keep this field looking nice. And it does. <laughs> and I'm tricking myself into thinking that I've got some kind of Wembley Stadium. And um, yeah, my plan, my plan was never, ever to turn this into a lawn. And I'm still trying not to do that. But I can't help myself. <laughs> I like it nice and neat and tidy. And I'm just wandering down towards Dave's field. And uh, I got busy in the lawnmower, uh, busy in there with the lawnmower as well. Um, yeah, I'm my own worst enemy sometimes. So it's currently about 20 degrees. And uh, it's definitely t-shirt weather. And I've had a, a really lovely uh, few days. Um, although it was chilly this morning. It was cold overnight. I think it got down to six degrees overnight. So the house is going to be tested and uh, all the work that I'm, I'm doing and that I've done is going to be tested. And I'll come out of the bedroom this morning and the bathroom was 14 degrees and uh, yeah, quite chilly. I'm not heating the house, uh, not for long periods anyway. I'm using that little gas heater that I bought. And um, I went into the living room and it was 17 degrees. So quite a big difference between a super, well, say super insulated, a well insulated living room, because I've got now 12 inches of insulation in the, uh, in the roof or in the, uh, on the loft floor, if you like. And I've no idea what insulation is in the uh, bathroom because that's in the extension. Oh, it's looking nice in here. <laughs> I don't 
don't know why I worry about this field. It's uh, it's miles away from the house. It's just ridiculous. Although I've still got this area here to uh, keep on top of. So yeah, thinking about the weather, um, look at look at the forecast for next week. Wednesday looks like we're going to have our own mini hurricane. Um, yeah, forecasting winds maybe up to 60 miles an hour. Hopefully they've got that forecast wrong. I um, I watch a channel sometimes on YouTube, uh, Cletus McFarland. Do you know him? Got a massive channel, and uh, he's got a, a loyal following as well. And uh, he's managed to save. Yeah, I managed to save some money to buy some bulbs <laughs> and some bits and pieces for the house, which I'm extremely grateful for. He's managed to save for a helicopter. <laughs> it's another world. Um, he's been at this game for 15 years, got millions of subscribers. Fantastic channel. And you know what? The first thing he did, the first thing he did with his helicopter, was fly it to um, around the North Carolina area, which has been utterly devastated by. Uh, Hurricane Helen, Helena. Um, yeah, total devastation. 200 people have died. Over 200 people have died. Absolutely horrific. And uh, yeah, he flew his helicopter out, and uh, he took out supplies. You know, baby formula and uh, water, and he helped people, save people, move people. Absolutely fantastic. I wish I um, yeah, I wish I could uh, sort of. I think I was put on this planet to help people. I don't think I was put on this planet to help myself too much. Um, but yeah. I don't think I'd ever fly a helicopter, even if I had the money. I've just noticed walking past that I've got, um, I've got, I think they're crab apples on this tree. And while I was working away putting those, putting those uh, bulbs in the ground, I noticed one solitary pear in the pear tree um, above my head. You know, I don't normally come into my uh, nature reserve on a Saturday, but it is uh, quite peaceful, apart from the sound of uh, a couple of a couple of farmers doing something with their tractors nearby. So someone left a comment under one of my last videos talking about the disaster in um, the southern states of America and mentioned the lack of American troops on the ground helping out. Uh, you know, like you'd expect them to in a, nas a national disaster. And um, perhaps if the American troops were in America, they would, they would be helping out. But, um, but apparently, apparently there's 100,000 troops stationed, um, yeah, on the borders of Russia, uh, up by Estonia in the north, down towards Hungary in the south or further south. Um, yeah, perhaps if, I'm not saying they're all American, a lot of them are British. A lot of them are, well, NATO troops. And uh, yeah, perhaps if they weren't, you know, waiting to pounce on Russia in the next few weeks, perhaps they were, perhaps they would be helping out with the disaster that's at home. So someone did leave a comment the other day saying that I should, quite rightly, concentrate on what I can do outside while the weather's good. And um, I do listen to you guys and girls out there. Um, I do feel guilty when I don't get stuff done. But when I was mowing the, um, mowing the field, I kind of realized that if I'd have left it another day, my mower might not have actually got, got through it. So yeah, it's been, it's been a while since I've um, done any well, large amounts of mowing outside, apart from my back garden, which seems to be growing at a rate of about a quarter of an inch to half an inch a day. And I think I've mowed it twice in the last seven days, and I could probably mow it today, you know, if I had the, um, if I had the energy. <laughs> I'm gonna need to put a, gonna need to put a gate there. I'd finished with all my gate making, but yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that one. So, right, a couple of things to tell you. Let's talk about Clara. I got a message yesterday. I think I got a message yesterday saying that she'd had another puppy. I was like, what? Oh, had another puppy? And uh, yeah, out of the blue, another one turned up. So that's the fourth one. And uh, that's quite unusual, isn't it? For a litter to be born 
across sort of three or four days that's quite unusual has to be um yeah leave a comment if you know different but um she's um apparently about 11 years old i've been told now that's quite old isn't it for that's quite old for any dog to be having puppies don't you think yeah definitely time to uh get a trip to the vet don't you and uh i don't think she needs to be dealing with any more puppies going forward and apparently word on the street is that daddy is possibly probably almost certainly a border collie so i'm gonna guess that a pointer crossed with a border collie is gonna be what's the word hyperactive that's gonna be an understatement isn't it that's gonna be a dog that you're never gonna wear out so i'm not quite sure not quite sure if that's the kind of puppy <laughs> that i need yeah let me know <laughs> let me know in the comments should mark <laughs> get a cross between a pointer and a border collie um as his first puppy although you know i've got plenty of space for it to run about but yeah i think that's um that's quite a big ask isn't it so i've had pretty much a whole week um working outside and it's been absolutely fantastic um yeah who wants to be um who wants to be working inside when it's like this and um although i did order i pulled the trigger and ordered some racking that i'd noticed and spotted on uh, amazon and yeah it's kind of money i didn't really want to spend but i'm getting very frustrated with not being able to put things anywhere and i bought a pack of two uh, because it was cheaper and i got free postage um so i can have some storage in the kitchen but i can also have some storage in my new storeroom that i'm putting together and i think yeah that'll make life so much easier for me and i did see i was kind of worried that it looked a bit industrial and looked a bit not daft i don't mind looking things looking daft i mean i prefer things looking daft but i just thought it looked a bit industrial um but i saw some pictures online and people are using these in kitchens and even in living rooms you know they're putting like pictures and books and all sorts on on these racks and uh, they look quite good so yeah that will should be here that should be here end of the week end of next week and uh, yeah the weather is going to be terrible uh, so it's kind of forced it's going to force me to work indoors and i should really i should really start working on that wall anyway i'm going to leave it there it's uh, Saturday today. We're going to pretend it's Sunday because it's such a beautiful day and the weather looks terrible tomorrow. Um, and it's been quite a it's been quite a lovely day, I've got to say. Apart from the tractors, you know, farmers got to do their thing, though, you know. Especially if you want to eat and all that. I hope all is well. Please leave some comments. Uh, quickly, just got to quickly say this. Yeah, last weekend I made a video about you know a touchy subject, especially touchy with some people and um, especially if you're a corporation <laughs> very touchy i think uh, about a medical procedure well, i didn't really talk about the medical procedure much but um i talked roughly about that subject and normally my channel gets between 30 and 40 subscribers new subscribers a week hello new subscribers <laughs> hope you're enjoying my daft my daft content um yeah normally get 30 or 40 new subscribers a week and this week since said video <laughs> I had this many new subscribers <laughs> so yeah not quite sure if Mr Google or Mr YouTube is it Mr Google or Mrs YouTube I tried to send me a message <laughs> so no new subscribers this week in fact people have scarpered so now obviously you do get those people on YouTube that sometimes say YouTube are holding me back they're holding me back they're unsubscribing people well but YouTube can unsubscribe people um so if you're not subscribed could you just check that you are or if you think you are subscribed <laughs> you may have been unsubscribed yeah just have a little check for me uh it'd be nice to grow the channel this is never going to be a big channel it's quite a daft little channel in fact but um yeah every little helps and um we're creeping up have you noticed we're creeping up towards christmas oh no it seems daft to say i'm walking around in a t-shirt but this time of year youtube tends to go a little bit bonkers with the advertising uh, and i've noticed this because i get extra sausages <laughs> for the same type of video the same amount of views they give me an extra sausage and that's obviously paid for by the advertisers that advertise on my videos so yeah leave a comment i'd love to know what adverts you're getting how many and what what they're advertising on your channel 
and um, it'd be interesting to know and I'm sure at some point I'm going to make a video about all the um, all the companies that contact me <laughs> about the products that they want me to uh, promote because I get endless emails of companies asking me to promote various things uh, and I never do well I haven't done for a long time um, yeah that, we'll leave that for another video hope all is well uh, whether I make a video tomorrow or not well it depends on the weather and if I've got anything to talk about see you later